What are the components of a concrete structure? How are these components designed? What is the basis of designing a concrete structure? And what sources and books should we use to design a concrete structure? If our structure is subjected to wind and earthquake forces, how should we consider their effect? These are just a small part of the thousands of questions we face when designing a reinforced concrete structure. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I'd like to talk about everything I know about the design of a concrete structure. And I hope that the contents of this channel will be useful for you. Our main reference for finding answers to these questions is the latest edition of the American Concrete Specification, which is known as ACI 318 2025. In this session, my aim is to give you a general picture of the first chapter and we will start the main topics from the next session. In general, this chapter includes two main parts. In the first part, we talk about the concrete and different types of rebars, which includes approximately 70% of the contents of this chapter. In the second part, I will talk about a series of prerequisites for the design of reinforced concrete structures. First of all, we will address the issue of what is the basis of the design philosophy of concrete structures and what methods can be used to design a concrete structure. To know the answer to these questions, we go to ACI 318 and we check there that what the basis of the design is determined for us. After that, I will talk to you completely about the conversion of units in a session. It is obvious that our formulas and examples in these tutorials are based on the U.S. customary unit system. But these videos may be seen by people who aren't familiar with this system, but they like to follow the tutorials of this channel. Therefore, I decided to prepare a video about unit conversion between USC and the SI system so that these friends will not be afraid of unit conversion and can follow these tutorials. In addition, as far as possible, I will provide the formulas and the final answer to the exercises based on the SI system so that these dear ones have a sense of engineering to numbers and examples and don't miss anything. We will dedicate the last session of this chapter to the introduction of the best and most important books of the design of reinforced concrete structures and for some reason, I think it is better to address this issue then. My primary goal is that if you are a civil engineering student or have been away from university for some time, at the end of these tutorials, you'd be able to design the various components of a reinforced concrete structure easily. As you know, there is not much talk about seismic design in the undergraduate course. And generally, seismic design should be learned in the postgraduate course or classes outside the university. Please support these tutorials by following and watching them on this channel. I appreciate that. And after finishing the design of concrete components, we will go to tutorials related to seismic design and I will prepare a complete video series about this topic for you. If you don't want to miss later videos of this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button next to it to be notified of new videos. In the next session, we will go to the most important physical and mechanical characteristics of concrete, uh, which we want to use later in the design of concrete components. You can see the link to that video right here and you can Click on it right now and watch the next session. Good luck and goodbye.